Welcome to check today's video about how to read chromatogram. For many students who are new to liquid chromatography, the chromatogram is a part that must be learned to read. So today we will also briefly talk about how to view the chromatogram first. Please check the right and this is how a typical chromatogram looks like. And then you can see the Y vertical axis represents MAU. MAU equals sign milliabsorbance unit MAU indicates the absorption of analytes. MAU is also used to determine the concentration of the analyte. Okay, now let's check the X, horizontal axis, represents retention time. Retention time is the time between the injection of the analyte to the detection of the analyte. And now you can check, compound has a retention time of six minutes. Retention time can also be used as an identification tool. Reference list of compounds and retention times, retention time one. So what is the identity of compound X? Then let's check the caffeine kin. The concentration of caffeine can be determined with a calibration curve. Then let's check the example calibration curve. Prepare sample and run HPLC analysis as follows. Sample C1, 50 MGL sample C2, 100 MGL sample C3, 150 MGL sample C4, 200 MGL sample C5, 250 MGL. As concentration increases, the peaks become bigger and higher. Then we can do a simple calculation as the diagram. The peak area represents the amount of compound that has passed the detector. So a higher peak does not mean the concentration is higher peak. A has a higher concentration compared to peak B as the peak area of peak A is larger. Then the computer software can automatically calculate the area of the peak. Let's have a look at the calibration curve. So, with these numbers, you have to work with to calculate the concentration of compound X. The computer software will also calculate the peak area of compound X. With this information, you should be able to calculate the concentration. Compound X equals sign 207.757 MGL. So if the software calculates everything, why bother looking at the chromatogram? You want to make sure your analysis is done correctly by looking at the chromatogram. May you also have questions like, is this correct retention time? Is there any absorbance? And is the baseline straight? This is an example of a chromatogram with poor baseline. I hope this is a helpful video. Now you know how to read chromatograms. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. And by the way, have any questions about HPLC and the requirements for the HPLC column? Consumables, don't be late to contact UHPLCs. We will supply the best solution within 24 hours.